Hey everybody, my name is Whip, and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we are in my single player world, but we are going to be doing something different. We are going to be looking at 50 plus build ideas that you can add to your own Minecraft world just to make them feel a little bit more interesting. Nail in that corner right there. And I've got a bunch of cool new ideas. We've done these videos a few times before, so if you ever need some build ideas, be sure to go look up the old ones. I'll try and include some links down in the description if I can remember them, if I can go find them and all that fancy stuff. But anyways, let's get into this thing before I eventually fall off a cliff here because we all know there are many edges to fall off inside this world. Now after the great childhood book here, everybody poops, we definitely need an outhouse inside of our Minecraft world. So why not just add one of those things in there? Just throw a composter in the ground, fill it with some stuff and get that filled up all the way there and it looks like a very functional pooper. Stay back or they'll get you. What about adding in a small chicken coop? Moving into Minecraft 1.13, I believe, chickens can no longer jump over a trap door. So you can easily make tiny little chicken coops like these things right here and just smack them on the side of a building. Chicken's not oinky enough for you. How about you throw in a pig pen? You can just add in a tiny little pig pen with another outhouse. Right like this thing right up here, just make a really messy area of coarse dirt, puzzle, path block, grass blocks, tree stumps, rocks, and of course our little oinkers running around in here just to have them running around. Something moving to add so much life to your Minecraft builds. Except villagers. Nobody likes villagers. Building a town, city, village, or something, got a weird little corner that you don't know what to do? Maybe a custom tree and a flower garden could be a great way to fill it, and you can even add a little bit of bookshelf action over here so somebody can pick up a book and come on and sit in the garden and read. I swear, we're gonna look at other builds besides these two ones. Anyways, how about a veggie patch? Right behind me here, we got a little bit of a carrot patch right in here. Maybe you can just throw some of these around. You got some more empty space in your villages? Fill them with something. They wouldn't just have dead space and grassy lawns inside a village. They probably would use that for something useful, like food. I get it, I get it. Maybe that's not your style. How about throwing in a small pond area? Yeah, there we go. Bring some blue into there. Get rid of those weird green things and bring in some blue, nice water. Couldn't be a proper Minecraft 1.15 video if I didn't mention these little guys with their big old butts touching all of our flowers around here. We have the bees. Maybe you dot some beehives along a path with a bunch of flowers around it and you get all of these little dudes fluttering around as they all just went inside their places. Thanks guys. I'm trying to record over here. You really helped. The winters are cold and dark and full of terrors and maybe we need some firewood. Just a little lumber pile sitting outside on the side of your building or something like that can be a great way to just add detail. And we love the campfire block. Yes, we do. Got an awesome restaurant building that you made. Maybe you can't fit everybody inside of it. Maybe an outdoor seating area would be something you could consider adding in and then you can fill up another one of those empty spaces that you're trying to figure out what to do. That's why you're watching this video. Fill up those empty spaces, put some seating. Maybe it's just time to kick back with my old pillager friends here and have a nice picnic down here. We're missing the red and white checkered blanket that we need and all of the ants trying to steal our sandwiches, but I think this could get the job done pretty well for at least these guys. I feel like they're not about the blanket life. As much as we can move everything with shulker boxes and all that is fancy schmancy, you can move so many items at once. If you're trying to build a medieval world or any world really, you gotta probably have some way to transport things. Unless you're going super futuristic and things teleport all over the place, maybe adding some carts, some cars, some trucks, maybe even flying spaceships that are transporting your goods. There's like five ideas in one right there. Am I a dirty, dirty cheater repeating this idea from the last video? You betcha. What about a fallen over cart? I love this one. I had to mention it again. We've never visited this area since we built that for that specific video. So I just want to mention it one more time. We lost all of our pumpkins. At least we didn't lose our melons. I don't know why I was caring about our melons, but at least our cabbages are safe and sound. But this one right here, what about if we made a ruined house or like a broken down house? You could even make one that's on fire with the new campfire blocks. There's so many possibilities for destroyed buildings now. It's awesome. I'm a little behind the times here on this one, but what about a house under construction? With the new scaffolding block, you can make a cool, cool little construction site here. I took about 30 minutes to whip this one up a little while ago before starting this video, and I, uh... It could use some work, but I think that's got a cool base concept to it. A little bit smaller this time, but how about a wood chopping station? We got this nice little dark oak log here, a bunch of oak logs over here, and we are breaking them down into some good little things you see you can throw in your fireplace. Blanking on the word right now, kindling. No, something bigger than that. I don't know. What is it? Let me know. What is a better way to have a meeting point or some central point in your city then a fountain, why not throw one of these things in there? It doesn't have to be this exact design, but any type of a fountain, 
helps to break up the gray scheme that is in a lot of cities. Another way to break up the city and make it feel a lot more alive is adding in some custom trees that are a little bit different than your normal one. Maybe a custom birch tree. Birch wood is not all that bad. Maybe you come down here and use some birch fences and some acacia leaves and make a cool little tiny custom one that isn't the full blocks. And there's just so many different ways you can take it. There's like five different custom trees I've shown you right here. Does your village, town, city, something base that you're doing have a symbol to it? Do you have something that kind of helps represent what you're doing, like a logo or something you go with? Try and turn that into a statue, like this stag statue here, or elk statue, as far as our Elks Point Nordic Village that we have here. You know, it kind of makes sense to have this as a statue in here. Maybe a big garden around your house that you're making. Maybe you have a little bit of a farm area. Where do you store all the tools that are being used to harvest all those things? Where do you store all that stuff? Maybe some little tool sheds along the edge can help kind of bring that all together. Maybe you're talking about seashells by the seashore. Maybe you bring down a little of a bench so you can actually collect your seashells while you're sitting on the seashore. Got another empty space you need to fill. What about filling it with some sort of a workstation? In this case, a blacksmith. Ignore that broken painting. It's Mo Young's fault. Uh, but you can just add these small little things throughout your areas just to fill in this nook and cranny here. We were able to fill it with a really, really cool little blacksmith station. We ran by this one earlier, but I didn't mention it on purpose. You can add a small well that's literally just a two by two space like this one. That could be a perfect addition just to fill this tiny corner. Not all wells need to be absolutely massive like most people make them. Just fill in a little tiny guy like this. Got a bill that's a little bit darker, maybe covered by a bunch of forested stuff. Bring in some colorful banners. Maybe it doesn't have to be the same colors as the leaves, but you can quickly add a bunch of life and contrast in your build just by throwing a few pops of color around it. Make your open grassy area more interesting by just adding in some bushes. Don't fill it with bushes. Just add in a few dotted around and you're like all set. Do you have any coastal part of your city, river, or anything like that? There's probably some dude or lady that would like to come through this area and sell their fish that they catch for the day. So a little fishmonger shop area could be a great way to go. Maybe you're out in the village or the country and somebody just really likes picking their flowers. So maybe adding a small flower stand where they can sell those for a few pennies to the to the village folk. Got some of these stupid dudes stuck in your world that won't despawn and you absolutely hate them like me. Maybe you give them a home to live in like our Ikea village here or turn it into like a wandering trader camp of sorts was the idea before it became Ikea. I guess Ikea sells everything, so it kind of works here. Maybe they're more of the cultural types of villagers. I don't know if any of those villagers exist because they're all pretty dumb, but you get out in a small theater area. I guess it'd be pretty easy to entertain them. So Mr. Uh, Jelly over here, this is a Mr. Jelly, uh, could very easily entertain a bunch of these villagers. I know we already talked about workstations filling empty places that you have, but you can always make a dedicated blacksmith. Usually they would be working outside of their actual house itself. In this case, it's just kind of attached into the side of the house. Works super, super well. Maybe you've just got a big pond, something. Just add a small canoe into it. Somebody probably would try and go out in the middle and try and fish for something. So you can just add a small canoe, just kind of dotting around here and floating along with the ripples. This one right here is a little bit more texture pack specific. Being a notice board, very easy with this painting that I created, but you can also use a bunch of signs just dotted around and create your own story for whatever you're doing. It's kind of a cool way to add some extra life to your area. And if you're playing on a multiplayer server, you can kind of add it in, maybe create a newsletter of sorts. I've seen some people do some insane map art by creating entire newspapers out of a single Minecraft map. Go for that. What about showing your force and power and dominance and rule over the land by adding a bunch of flagpoles and your flag sticking all over the place? This one, I absolutely love this design, so I'll slow down here and show you all a quick, easy way to do it. Flower pot on top, using a lever with a bunch of iron bars attached here, and then another lever at the bottom. Makes it look like this thing is kind of like that lead or rope that would be used to pull the flag up and down, and I absolutely love it. On some of your homes inside of your city that you're building, if you want to show somebody who's a little bit more wealthy or maybe more established and been there longer, give them a patio or just a fenced in area in front of their house. Because if you're in a city, it's very, very hard to come by any land. So anything that you can flaunt with just an outdoor seating area kind of shows you got a little bit of cash to splash. You can also randomly cut out the side of your building and add it in a deck. Kind of a cool way to just show some extra detail to it and give it a little bit of extra one wide at that level and just give something more unique to your build. Adding some small random fences like this guy right here with the lantern on top 
dotted along your roadside as you're walking up just kind of shows that there might have been something there before an old rickety fence that maybe has been changed or maybe as the area has grown parts of it were taken down it's just kind of a cool way to add some more unique elements in your world and also divide things and make a little bit of a stop gap between you and the dark evil creepers on the other side we really want to avoid those ones snow layers absolutely love them probably one of my favorite things in the game now and you can very, very easily detail areas out just be creating by creating giant piles of snow using the layers like this. And it's a great way just to make it feel like there's so much more depth. With all the different layers of it, it feels like it's just piled up here and it's perfect. If you're like me and are stupid and building an entire custom forest, it gets pretty boring when it's tree, 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 everything is trees. So maybe we build some rock structures or boulders. It's a good way to break it up. You can add some gray tones to it as well. You kind of see them as you're looking through the build and it just helps to make it more interesting for you to build as well instead of just doing this thing a million times. A good way to add some extra detail is to build a trellis or like a covered walkway of sorts. So when you're just, you have your main pathway here, maybe you got a side pathway that leads to a pretty garden or in this case, a carrot patch. Very, very pretty carrot patch. We have this nice little trellis going over the top of it so we can have a nice little projected pretty walk when you're going all the way to it. Probably not the smallest to build ideas, but maybe you can make some more ruined things. We talked about a ruined house. What about a ruined watchtower of sorts on a hill? It doesn't have to be as big as this castle is right here. Maybe you could just tackle that little guy over there. Just adding some ruins into the distance, even if you don't visit them or live in them, it can make your world feel like there's more people inside of it. This just so shows so much more age to our world here. There actually looks like people used to live here at some point. Before you jump on your horse that might taste like raisins, you probably need a little bit of a hitching post to be able to get up on top of them and jump on top much, much more easily. You can just tie them off to that thing while you're doing it too. So just adding little sections like this, even if you did like a two tall fence right next to this guy right here, could be a great way to like symbolize having some horses. You can step up there, easily jump on top and ride off into the distance. I was just looking at this. How about you build a lantern? That's pretty simple, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I've got a few random things like these throughout my world. Just little shrines that you don't really explain. You just kind of put in. Maybe some of the ancient people, like we were talking about with our ruined castle, they could have some way of just having these old shrines that used to be places of worship for them. It adds some extra depth into the world without you having to explain anything or do anything too crazy. Now, I personally struggle with ideas for interiors and stuff like that, so I want to point out a few here for you as well. Maybe you're making a food pantry, using the campfires, dotting a bunch of pieces of meat on it, and then using a shovel or a splash potion of water will make the meat all stay in there. You got to be quick, though, before the meat actually cooks and pops off, but you can make some cool layered things like that and just add some extra storage around here. Using banners, you can create a little bit of a laundry room of sorts with some cauldrons and some rails and just showing water all over the place. The rails kind of sticking up look a little bit like a washboard of sorts and you can just have all this cool stuff around here and create these awesome little laundry rooms. Next up would be, I hope this one's pretty obvious, is building a kitchen where apparently our vines have gotten pretty crazy over here. I'm gonna have to come back into the real version of this world and fix that stuff up. But yeah, it's very, very easy to build a kitchen, but here's a few ideas for interior stuff you can add to your kitchen. Never forget your sea pickles. Explaining functionality behind your world is a great way to go forward with it. And if you're like me and you like to build medieval or fantasy type things, they probably are mining for their resources of sorts. So this right here is a good iron mine. I love this one. We built it a few weeks ago. I had no idea what I wanted to do with it, but we built this entire custom iron mine where you kind of go through all these different tunnels, and at the very end of the tunnels, you can see a bunch of iron. Big thing on this one, don't throw random bits of iron scattered around this entire area, because why would they be digging further down the tunnel if there's iron in the wall right here? A big thing for me is showing depth and longevity and life inside of my Minecraft worlds and stealing this one from the exact thing that we did the last time is I added in a ruined mine in here. So this one may have used to be a coal mine and it caved in due to some water and just kind of collapsed on itself so they can't get anything out of here anymore. But we still want to leave this mine in here to show that there is life and something happened in the past. Not everything in your Minecraft world needs to be focused on the present of what they're doing now. Maybe add something to show what happened before or what might be happening in the future. Didn't get your fill of update aquatic already? Maybe you should go ahead and build like an underwater coral area with a cool little cave that you could be surviving in. This could be a great survival starter house base too. So, you know, hashtag clickbait apparently. Found yourselves in an ice bikes biome and wanting to build there for some reason? Maybe you build a giant ice elven monastery something temple. No, that's just, 
that's just stupid. Why why would anybody do that? I I I don't know. For the last small build idea today, why don't you tackle building an entire mountain range? Oh wait, that's not too small. Maybe you build this on a really tiny scale, then it could be small. Maybe just like build it like three blocks tall and just kind of like five blocks long. That'd be a small build idea, right? I think that's probably a good way to go. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching today. That's gonna be the that's gonna be it for me today. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. Any ideas you have on build ideas as well that I did not include today or things that I should have included, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Maybe we can make a round two of this one. If we get enough ideas down there, I could go crazy with building a bunch of different things. So let me know those down below and I'll try and make my own version of them. We'll see on that one. But anyways, I am out here today. I will catch you on the flip side.